everyone. I'm Anna from the North Carolina Arboretum and Eco Explore. Did you know you can help scientists earn cool badges and fun prizes just by taking photos of the wildlife around you? It's true. Eco Explore is for you. To learn more, you can go to our website, ecoexplore.net. I want to invite you to join me on a wild adventure to see what lies below to study an ecosystem that is all over this world. A place that helps us grow our food, filter the Earth's water, clean our air, and is home to a variety of critters. Do you know what ecosystem we're gonna study? Well, we are going to dig into soil. Healthy soil is important to all life on Earth. But what is soil? Soil is a mixture of organic matter, living and once living things, rocks, air, and water. It takes a long time to make soil. In fact, it takes about 2,000 years to combine that organic matter with rocks, air, and water to only get 10 centimeters worth of a layer of soil. So since soil is all over the Earth's surface, it must go down pretty deep, right? Well, actually, it turns out soil only accounts for about a sliver of the Earth's surface. <laughs> Say this apple represents the Earth. I'm gonna cut it into four quarters. Now, three quarters of this apple represent all the water that covers the earth, oceans, lakes, rivers, streams. And this last quarter represents all the dry land, all the different soil types. You have to go even smaller, only 3% if you're thinking of the fertile soil that we can use for growing crops. Even though all soil is made up of those four different elements, organic matter, rocks, water, and air, not all soil is the same. Soil can be divided into three different types based on particle size. Let's take a closer look. The largest rock particle type is sand. Notice how the rock particles are very large, which leaves huge gaps between the particles. With so much room, water can easily flow through this kind of soil. While sandy soil might not be great for growing some plants, it can be useful in helping water drain away from an area. Another type of soil is called silt. Now, silt has particles that are smaller than sand, so silt can hold onto or retain water a bit better than sand. Now, the soil with the smallest size of rock particles is clay. Do you notice how little room there is between those rock particles? This means clay soil does a great job retaining water. This ability to hold onto water can make it easier for some plant species to access water even during times of drought. But too much of a good thing can be damaging. If soil is made up of mostly clay, this can lead to plants being exposed to too much water, and most plants don't like soggy roots. Each of these three soil types have serious benefits and some drawbacks. The answer to a really productive soil ecosystem is a combination of clay, silt, and sand. This type of soil is called loam. In loam soil, the sand helps to drain the water so the plants don't have the dreaded soggy roots. And the clay 
helps to hold on to some of that water and nutrients. It's the perfect balance that leads to beautifully rich soil that not only helps plants grow, but also helps support a huge variety of living things. From tiny bacteria and protozoa all the way up to animals, soil is so much more than just dirt. Thanks for joining me and learning about the important ecosystem of soil. Stay tuned for our soil mystery series, the Eco Explore Dustbusters, featuring experts from the North Carolina Department of Agriculture's Division of Soil and Water Conservation and real eco explorers. You can learn more about earning your very special soil badge at our website, ecoexplore.net. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good luck, have fun, keep exploring.